Good morning, modern steaders. I know, my boots are loud. We got the ice picks on. Everything is frozen. I got like two inches of rain the other day. It was in the 40s. And then it dropped down to the single digits and everything froze up. I'm glad I brought all that wood in yesterday. It's zero degrees out right now. Man, we just can't catch a break with this weather. I'll be happy when springtime is here. Good morning, girls. Let me swap out your water bucket. It's a nice, fresh, warm water. Warm water. You should be drinking that. It's good for you. I like my nice hot cup of coffee in the morning. No. Oh, stretch. I know. I know. You want your feed? There you go. Well, out. They only get a little bit, so don't eat it on them. Towel's nice and warm. She should like that. A lot of people keep asking when I'm gonna stop milking Willow. She's almost dried up, and I'm just trying to milk her until she is completely dried up. I'm getting about enough milk off of her to put in my cup of coffee once a day. So not very much, but I'm, I want to milk her as long as I can to encourage good milk production for her next time she gets into milk. They say the first freshening is what they call the first time a goat ever gets milk production. It's not that great of a production, but the more you milk her and work her, the following time she comes into milk, she'll be a lot better milker. I was talking with our friend Danelle from Weedem and Reap, and she was encouraging me just to keep milking her, don't worry about how much you get, and then next year it'll be worth it. So, fingers crossed, she's pregnant, and next year we'll have a lot more milk. For the last three weeks, we keep forgetting to order our seeds for the spring. Don't know if it's because we've been so busy, or if it's just because it's the thicker winter, we keep forgetting about ordering seeds. We really don't, we really haven't been thinking about gardening season. But the thing is, if we don't put our vegetable seed order in soon, we probably won't get them in time. It's just odd that you got to be that far ahead of the game in planning this early in the season. What's the matter, Blossom? You didn't get enough to eat? I'll get you some hay. I can't cut the flake of hay in half with one hand. I had to put the camera down while I cut the flake of hay in half. There we go. You can have some hay now there, Buttercup. Go for it, Blossom. Go for it. You're not getting all alfalfa pellets. I hate to hurt your feelings, but you've got plenty of weight on you. Not quite sure what happened the other day, but the goats broke one of the spigots off the hay feeder. Right there. So I gotta make a new one. The day when I cleaned out the goat pen, I think what happened is the rest of the snow fell off that roof later that day or the next day. And I'm thinking the goats were in the feeder, the snow fell off the roof, scared them, and they broke this off. That's my theory anyways. Let's stick this over here and we'll make a new one. Did you finish all your pellets, Willow? Go for it. Nope, you're not coming in.
This guy doesn't know what to do with all the snow and ice. There's no mice for him to hunt outside. Huh, Figaro. You getting bored this winter? Yeah. With farming and most of life, any good thing that you want doesn't come easy and it takes a lot of time. With goats, we're trying to get a milking herd, it takes time to get the herd established. And when you do get goats, it takes time to build them up for milking. Good morning, guys. I should say girls. Just stay warm. kick too hot. I don't want to put my spikes through the pan. That wouldn't be good. Good morning, Moose. How are we doing this morning, mister? You taking good care of you ladies? We got one, nope, one egg, two eggs. Kind of curious to see how warm they are. I didn't know if any of the eggs were freshly laid and warm. I'd say they've been sitting out here, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. They're not cold, but they're not hot. I'd like to get a freshly laid egg and check it with our laser thermometer and see what the temperature of the egg is when it comes out of the chicken. I don't know, I just started thinking about that this morning. I wonder what the temperature of a fresh laid egg is. So most things that you wanna do, they take time. And I'm terrible with patience. Whether you wanna start a business, you wanna start a garden, you wanna start a chicken flock, they all take time and if not years to perfect what you're trying to do. Sometimes it's hard. I think it's one of those things we gotta think about and just realize that hey, Trial and error takes time. It takes years sometimes. <sighs> but it's also one of the fun things. I keep trying new things out. You coming in? Good morning, girls. We have one or two roosters in here learning how to crow. I'm thinking he's one. Where's the other one? I don't know. And that darker rooster guy right there, I bet you is the other rooster. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're trying something and it's not an overnight success for you, don't give up. It can take years and years to perfect things. We have plenty of things here in our homestead that aren't where we want them to be yet. But if we quit, they'll never be where we want them to be. But if we keep going, someday they'll get there. Here's what's left of the Pringles we made yesterday. And then we made some potato sticks with some of the leftovers. That was a fun time yesterday, trying to make Pringles at the house. If you haven't had a chance to see that video, I'll put a link to it right here. I think you should be carrying this. <laughs> Took the can do attitude and you went and did it. <laughs> Wanna try to make some snickerdoodles for the first time? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Why are they called snickerdoodles? I don't know. Why are they called snickerdoodles? That's a good question to ask you, you all. Because I have no idea. Do you know why they're called snickerdoodles? No. Really? Wait, how many two cups? Two cups and three quarters. And this is just gonna be
You watching your crazy dog? <laughs> what are you two up to? Huh? What are you two doing? Huh, you causing trouble? I think you're really gonna like this next part. We need one egg and one egg yolk. How do so you want to get the break yolk? the egg, and then I'll show you how we get just the yolk. Break, I want to show you how to do it. Yeah. So you're gonna break the egg, and then I want you to get it in half. Best we can. Best we can. And then we're gonna go back and forth, getting out the one. So next time you know how to get just the yolk, huh? Or if you want just the egg white, that's how you do it too. Snowing out again. Now we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator for an hour. Remember this summer when we were out picking these blueberries and how hot and sweaty it was? Mm -hmm. And now it's January and we're wishing we were hot and sweaty. Buried in like three feet of snow and it's snowing out right now and that was fun. It was fun picking the blueberries. We need more. Yeah, that's good. It's gonna be fun picking them again this summer. And when we're picking them and sweating this summer, we're gonna be going, man, I wish it was winter and we had three feet of snow again. It's 
teamwork. Been putting bigger holes in the shaker. Oh, I hope our strawberries do good. We covered them in quite a bit of straw. So, what's the thing you're most looking forward to planting this year? Food or other? Anything. Well, I like food best, and I'm excited <laughs> to do. I want to do flowers. Flowers. But because I want to like be able to put them on the table. Um, or you want fancy in. flowers? Wild so flowers. So we can make flower song arrangements. Well, for I the don't table. really know how to make arrangements, but I like to pretend like I could. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, corn. Maybe a little bit of corn. I it's fun it, doing it. It was fun, and even if we didn't have what we have it for decoration. That's true, we got the corn stalks for Halloween. Yeah, that was fun. And we didn't have that last year. That was fun. So let's start on tomatoes, maybe. Let's start, let's just kind of use this. You want to use Clyde's well, as a like guide? The, we'll go down the list. Okay. okay. Let's do early wonder. Okay, we'll do early wonder. And do we want carrots? Yes, of course we do. carrots. We'll need short and stocky ones. I'd say either the Danvers or... This one says, fine for bunching or storage. And then it says, good for heavier soil. Good for heavy soils. We got heavy soils. We do. We okay, do. So heavy with rocks. <laughs> it doesn't say it grows well in rocks. Oh. Okay. I'll so do, do that, that one. So for lettuce, you say Paris Island? Yeah. Sounds good to me. You want to do spinach? Yep. Bloomsdale? Yep. That's the one. That's the one? That's the one. Ooh, now we're on to tomatoes. This is going to be hard. This is a hard decision. No, we don't Let's do the Cherokee purple. Under this one? Yeah. What's the other one you want to do? This one. Lucid gem tomato. You haven't tried that one yet. It sounds good. It says the fruits are great keepers. You can't go wrong with this one. Ooh, it sounds tasty. And it says it doesn't have a lot of seeds and it's very meaty. We that's what we like is in here. Very meaty. Did you want to try cauliflower? We should try cauliflower. Let's want to do the purple. Let's read about it. Insect resistant and it grows. Easier to grow than many other white varieties. Let's do that one. Well, I'll try it. So, do you want to do corn for looks or corn for eating? What if we do corn for eating and if it doesn't work out, we can just decorate with the stalks? I don't. We'll try this one since it's, it was grown in northern Maine, so maybe it will here. Might do good in our climate. It's a northern one. You want to do the stringless string beans? Mm -hmm. So yeah. are they still a string bean if they don't have a string? It says they are. It says they are? Does it say that? It was called stringless beans. It's a stringless so beans. it's not a string bean. It's not a string bean. We're going to be growing stringless string beans. Okay. Let's do this, this one and this one. Want to try two different ones? Yep. And this one? Yeah, this says it's burpless. Burpless? Stringless and burpless now? Yes. <laughs> we'll go with the straight neck summer squash. Yeah. Let's do this one because it says it freezes well and we like to freeze. We do freeze a lot of zucchini. Yeah. So the Ford hook. And then buttercup squash. Yes. That's my favorite. It is delicious. <laughs> you want to come in? You cold? You look like you're getting covered in snow. Here you go. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna go with the King of the North, which is a New England variety, and then an orange bell pepper. Yeah. Sounds 
since you look so bored, how about we go outside, collect the eggs, or bring the sled, and you can pull me. <laughs> Pluto, you want to go to New York City? It's snowing out pretty good. You ready? I guess so. As long as Pluto don't run into you. Is it rough? It's rough. <laughs> it sounded rough. <sighs> it's everything's ice. It's all ice. The girl's ready for some hay. No, you're staying in. Through the door. There you go, girls. You got hay all over you, Blossom. But Buttercup, how do you still fit in there? Buttercup? Oh. Well, Dad. Somebody broke the feeder the other day. I know, I was going to say. I know, I got to fix it. Hopefully tomorrow. Like, no, at first I was like, Buttercup, how'd you get in there? And then I looked and I was like, oh. Where's the thing? I brought it in the house. Oh. I gotta make a new one. Looks like when the snow came off the roof of New York City, it took out the fence. All right, I wonder how many eggs we'll have today. Oh, look at that, five eggs. Thank you, ladies. You ready to go in and bake up some snickerdoodles? Yes. Yes. These are our favorite bread pans. We don't gotta grease them, and usually the bread comes out nice and easy. Just like that. I'll have a link in the description down below for these pans. They're the best. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it when that happens. You got the snickerdoodle dough? Yep. All right, let me set these aside. Do you want to play with Figaro? Huh? You want to play with the kitty? And he don't want to play with you, does he? Just wants to tease you. Now we need to make the cinnamon and sugar topping. We need two tablespoons cinnamon. Get right over the bowl. Yeah, I was just gonna say I'm gonna do it. Whoa. 
So hold on. Yeah. Let's just do this. Don't put it all back. We can put it like go. Let go. I'll put some back in. Yeah, because a lot got Okay, here, take that. That's probably going to be too much. Go for it. Snickerdoodles are done with these. I'll have to let them cool off and we can try them. Yay! Came out to lock up the goats and man, it's like a full blizzard out here right now. They're calling for an inch of snow and we already got two or three on the ground and look at this winter wonderland. <sighs> Whoever keeps shaking the snow globe, they need to quit it! Hope you guys have had a great day. It's been a good one here. We're getting snow, but we're still in the middle of the winter. We can't complain about it. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. <sighs> Look at these crazy goats. You girls like the snow? They're like, nope, we just want our night snack. Look at it coming down. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs>